What's up people, welcome back to Red Graphics. In today's tutorial, we're creating this smooth text animation in Adobe After Effects. This technique can also be used to create lower third in Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So right here I have my After Effect opened up. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to rename this small animation. And I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. And then we have this at 6 seconds. I'm using this background color. And then click OK. The first thing I want to do is bring in my text. And then I'm going to just type like share, subscribe. I'm going to center this on the artboard. Then the next thing I want to do is making sure no layer is selected. I'm going to bring in my rectangle too rounded corners, rounded rectangle so then I'm going to draw a rectangle like uh, so and change the fill color to something yellowish like so I'm also going to make sure it's centered on the artboard right now the anchor point is far away from the rectangle so I'm just gonna hit Y on my keyboard and then bring this into the rectangle so any transform um, action I make on the rectangle will be relative to that point so with that done now let's start animating I want to animate my rectangle. First, I'm going to rename it to rectangle. And then the first thing I want to do is I want it to pop. So selecting the layer, I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale. Then I'm going to set a keyframe and change the value to zero at zero seconds. I'm going to move 10 frames forward and set the value to 100%. Select all keyframe, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and go to easy ease. So we have this nice pop up. Then select the keyframe, go to edit speed graph, and then change the graph to something like so switch back and then if you check it you have this smooth pop-up so now at 10 frames I want to further animate the rectangle I want it to move forward so I'll go to so at 10 frames I'm going to bring up my position clicking the rectangle layer it's P on your keyboard to bring up the position and I'm going to set a keyframe on this and I'm going to move forward to about two seconds and then move my rectangle forward holding shift to keep it on a straight line so I have this nice animation so now I want to animate my my text so the first thing I want to do is also bring up the position and then hit P on my keyboard. So at two, two seconds, I want my text to be right here. So I'm going to set a keyframe like so and then go back in time to about 10 frames and then move my text backward holding shift to keep it on a straight line like so so 
so let me check it we have something like so but i want my text to just reveal at this point not back here so first i'm going to select all keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant easy is so i'm going to make the animation smoother so after doing that i want to bring in my rectangle and mask making sure no layer is selected i'm going to go to my rectangle and click my rectangle and then make sure the rectangle covers the text like so after doing that i'm going to bring the rectangle below the text and then go to go here and then click um, choose alpha mat so what this does is it allows the text to re to reveal only in the rectangle so when you you have this nice reveal text animation so i'm going to select these keyframes go to edit speed graph and change the graph to something like so so when you check the animation you have something smooth like so so now we have the smooth entry now we need to prepare the exit so i'm going to select all my layers click on u on my keyboard and then click on u again to bring up all the keyframes now i want to copy and paste the keyframes i'm going to copy all these keyframes press just select them and then press ctrl c on my keyboard go forward in time to somewhere around here and then press ctrl v it's going to copy and paste the keyframes so um, i'm going to select these keyframes also copy and then paste them here make sure they are exactly the same way they are in the first yes like so so if you check this animation this is what we have that's not what i want it to look like so the rectangle is fading out where we don't want it to fade so i'm going to select the scale and then move it forward somewhere here so now i want to time reverse this i'm going to select all the keyframes right click go to keyframe assistance and then time reverse what this does is it reverses my animation so when you check you have something like this entry and exit so we have this animation now i want to make it look more realistic so i'm going to come here and toggle this switch so i can turn on my motion blur and make sure it's turned on here so it's going to give it this nice and realistic animation like entry and exit so if this video has been helpful kindly drop a like and make sure to subscribe if you're new here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video